This is Crocodile Dundee himself, Paul Hogan. But today, he no longer looks like this. Paul Hogan was already a big star in Australia when he hit big in 1986 with the film Crocodile Dundee. It was a number two grossing movie in the United States in 1986, just behind Top Gun. Paul Hogan then began getting offer after offer for huge movies, but he turned them all down because he says at the time he only wanted to act in movies that he wrote. And of course, he was a co-writer on Crocodile Dundee. He was even nominated for an Oscar for Best Screenplay. He then did Crocodile Dundee 2 in 1988, grossed $100 million in America, grossed another $100 million around the world. Huge hit. Unfortunately for Paul Hogan, he had had enough of Crocodile Dundee, and he never wanted to play the character ever again. And sadly, after Crocodile Dundee 2, we didn't hear much from Paul Hogan, and when we did, his films did not fare too well at the box office. And during the height of his fame, during the Crocodile Dundee days in the late 80s, he was already nearing 50, but he looked younger because he kept in shape, he was tan, and he did have some wrinkles, but for the most part, he did not look like a 50-year-old. Fast forward to today, and Paul Hogan looks very different compared to the days when he played Crocodile Dundee. He is currently 82 years old, about to turn 83, still is in very good shape, completely mentally with it. However, he has had some health problems in recent years, and he is taking some medication for his kidneys, and one of the side effects is that it makes your face a bit swollen. So if you look at Paul Hogan today, one of the reasons why his face looks swollen, especially his cheeks, is from the medication that he is taking. But besides that, he still looks great. He says that he will never play Crocodile Dundee ever again. And according to him, he is retired from show business forever. Paul Hogan today does have some loose skin under his neck. His face, besides the side effects from the medication, looks very good. His hair is now completely gray. Of course, he had blonde hair, and now he has gray hair. What are your thoughts about the way Paul Hogan used to look and the way he looks today? And which Crocodile Dundee movie is your favorite? Part one, two, or three? And do you believe they should do a remake without Paul Hogan? Leave a comment below and give me your opinion. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification so you are notified when we upload a new video.